I love the piano. Hey friends, welcome back. I'm really excited because we're going to start learning to play the piano today. Now let's take a look at a piano. Do you see it? It's a beautiful acoustic instrument. And an acoustic instrument is one that we don't have to plug in. It plays nice, loud, and beautiful sounds all by itself. Now it has a brother or sister instrument called the keyboard, and the keyboard's like a computer. It's not an acoustic instrument. It needs electricity to work. But the cool thing about a keyboard is you can change the volume. You can turn it up or turn it down, and you can change the sounds that it plays too. It can play all sorts of sounds. Now, I want to show you the piano again. Take a look. Do you know something really cool about the piano? When you open up the lid on top, do you know what you find inside? There are actually strings inside a piano. When we push on the keys, there are little hammers inside that hit the strings, and that's how the piano works. So, let's take a look at the part of the piano that we actually put our hands and fingers on. It's called a keyboard, just like that instrument we learned about. That's the keyboard. And take a look. What color are the keys on the keyboard? They are two different colors, white and black, right? Look closely at those keys. There is a little pattern, and it's easy to see when we look at the black keys. Let's look closely at those black keys. Look at the pattern. What do we see? The first black keys are a group of three together, right? There are three black keys together. And then the next little group that are next to each other are two black piano keys. And then it goes to three again, and then two, and then three, and then two, and it keeps going. Three, two, three, two, three, two is our pattern of black piano keys. So you're gonna wanna know that when you learn to play the piano. Okay, and I wanna teach you something really fun about those piano keys. Look at where there are two black piano keys. Those look a little bit like ears, but not my ears and probably not your ears. They look more like a doggy's ears, right? A floppy doggy's ears. And in between the doggy's ears, we find the doggy's face. Do you see that? Now, what letter in the alphabet does dog start with? It starts with D. -d, -d. And on the piano, we name all the white keys after letters. And the white key in between the two black keys that are like doggy ears is called the D for doggy. <laughs> all right, we learned a lot about the piano. We're going to learn more in the next part of the lesson. See you there. Hey friends, we are going to use the letters and the keys that we just learned to play our first pattern on the piano. Are you ready? Okay, these are the keys that we'll use. We're going to use the C, the D, and the E underneath the doggy ears to play this pattern. And we're going to use our right hand, okay? But I want to show you something about our right hand when we play piano. Each finger gets a number. The thumb gets number one, pointer finger number two, Middle finger gets three, ring finger is number four, and the pinky is number five. So we'll use numbers one, two, and three for this, okay? Watch the pattern first, then we'll play it together. Hey friends, did you see how we used our right hand to play C, D, and E for that pattern? Okay, now let's learn about the reading music part of this. There are three notes and then a rest when we play this pattern. There are three quarter notes and then a rest. And if you remember the rest from the resting baby story, it looks like a lightning bolt, but that is a quarter note rest. So we rest for one count. And the first quarter note is down low and it has a line through it. It's eating the line. That's our C. The next one is a little higher because the sound is higher. The pitch is higher. And that one bumps its head on that line in the staff, doesn't it? Ow. And the next one gobbles the line again and that's our E. And the E is higher than the D, isn't it? So each one gets a little higher as the sound gets higher. Then we have our rest. So it's C, D, E, rest. C, D, E, rest. 
Okay, I want you to see something else too. Do you see the little dots? Those are our repeat signs. And you might have learned about that in the story and lesson that we did called the repeat sign in the magic tunnel. Now the repeat signs, they tell us to do the music or play the music again. And this time we're gonna do it eight times. Wow! Okay, are you ready to practice with me? Now practice makes us better. Each time we practice, we get a little bit better at our pattern. Let's do it eight times together. I'm really excited. Here we go. You can do it. Hey friends, did you have fun playing that pattern with us? Now, if you couldn't do it perfectly, that's okay. Just go back and try it again and try it as many times as you need to until you feel comfortable. Learning an instrument takes practice and you've gotta keep practicing to get better. That's a fun thing to do also. Hi parents, we hope you and your child enjoyed that music lesson. Hey, if you did, please consider giving us a like and a subscribe to this channel. And also we've got a ton more lessons at MyMusicWorkshop.com. Hope to see you there.